everyone i am dr shivanila today's topic is malignant tumor malignant tumors are cancerous and can spread cancer cells throughout one's body through the blood or lymphatic system a process known as metastasis spread of malignant tumor local invasion direct spread malignant tumors enlarge by expansion but they cause invasion infiltration and destruction of surrounding tissue they invade via route of least resistance like tissue spaces or permeate lymphatics blood vessels perineural spaces or may penetrate a bone by growing through nutrient foramina they usually invade thin walled capillaries and veins than thick walled arteries metastasis distant spread Metastasis is the spread of tumor by invasion in such a way that discontinuous secondary tumor mass or masses are formed at the site of lodgement or in simple words tumor implants which are discontinuous with the primary tumor all malignant tumors metastasize bearing exception of leomas of cns basal cell carcinoma of the skin larger more aggressive and rapidly growing tumors are more likely to metastasize roots of metastasis lymphatic spread in general carcinoma metastasizes by lymphatic root while sarcomas by hematogenous root walls of lymphatics are invaded by cancer cells and may form a continuous growth in the lymphatic channel called lymphatic permeation or may detach to form tumor emboli into the draining the tumor emboli are carried by the lymph into the next draining lymph node where it enters at its convex surface and are lodged in the subcapsular sinus later the whole lymph node is enlarged generally regional lymph nodes draining the tumor are invariably involved but sometimes lymphatic metastasis do not develop in the first lymph node because of venous lymphatic anastomosis or skip metastasis obliteration of the lymph vessels due to inflammation or radiation retrograde metastasis due to obstruction of lymphatics by tumor cells is seen at unusual sites like metastasis of ca prostate to supraclavicular lymph nodes the first lymph node acts as initial barrier filter and destroy tumor cells while the next lymph nodes provide fertile soil for tumor cell growth hematogenous root it is common root of sarcomas but certain carcinomas like those of lungs breast thyroid kidney and prostate frequently metastasize by this root liver lungs kidneys brain and bones provide good soil for growth of good seeds and are common sites of blood borne metastasis whereas the unfavorable sites are spleen and muscles cancer cell readily invade the thin walls of capillaries and veins then arteries which are thick walled and contain invasion resistant elastic tissue The tumor embolus may occlude a small vessel in the microcirculation, extend through the vessel wall, and then establish a metastasis at the new site of lodgement. Cancers of organ draining into portal vein establish metastasis in liver, and those of draining into systemic circulation metastasis in the lungs. Retrograde metastasis may also occur after venous occlusion, like in case of cancers of thyroid and prostate. metastasis in vertebral bodies other routes transcellomic spread certain cancers invade through the serocell wall of the cellomic cavity so that the tumor fragments or clusters of tumor cells break off to be carried in the cellomic fluid and are implanted elsewhere periosteal cavity more often affected than pleural and pericardial cavity example stomach and ovary for periosteal cavity and bronchus and breast for pleural and pericardial cavity along epithelium lined surfaces intact epithelium and mucus coat are quite resistant to tumor cell penetration thus this route of spread is unusual exceptionally some malignant tumors may spread through fallopian tube from the endometrium to ovaries or vice versa bronchus into alveoli uterus from the kidneys into lower urinary tract cerebral spinal fluid malignant tumors of the ependyma and leptomeninges spread by releasing tumor fragments and cells into csf and produce metastasis at other sites in cns implantation rarely tumor cells may be implanted to a distant site by surgeon scalpel 
needles, sutures and may be implanted by direct contact such as transfer of carcinoma of lower lips to the opposing upper lip. Mechanism of spread of malignant tumor Number of malignant cells are released into the circulation but in this population of monoclonal tumor cells, a subpopulation of clonal tumor cells have the right biological characteristics to establish the metastasis, tumor heterogeneity. These right biological monoclonal malignant tumor cells establish metastasis as follow. Invasion of the basement membrane. The epithelial tumor cells overlying the basement membrane is called carcinoma in situ, but once they breach the underlying basement membrane, they are termed invasive. The factors preventing the breach in the basement membrane are the adhesion molecules helping epithelial cells to adhere to each other and to other components. Epithelial E cadrins cell to cell adhesion molecule and catenins E cadrins cytoskeleton interaction. Expression of these is reduced or lost in most carcinomas, allowing individual malignant cells to loosen up and leave primary tumor. Integrins These are transmembrane receptors causing adhesive interactions between individual tumor cells and in tumor cell components of extracellular matrix interactions. Immunoglobulin supergene family it includes intercellular adhesion molecule 1, ICAM1, MEC18, CD44 and vascular cell adhesion molecule, VCAM1. Expression of ICAM1, MEC18 and CD44 is directly correlated with invasion and metastatic potential of tumors while VCAM1 is down-regulated. Passage through the extracellular matrix. After attaching to the basin membrane, tumor cell migrate through it by autocrine motility factor AMF. It is a type of tumor cell cytokine which stimulates receptor mediated motility of tumor cell, increases adhesion of tumor cell to the matrix and releases lysosomal enzymes. Proteolytic enzymes. Malignant cells elaborate certain proteolytic enzymes like urokinase type, plasminogen activator and matrix metalloproteins which degrade component of basement membrane like collagen type 4, laminin and proteoglycans. Invasion of lymphatic and vascular channels. Tumor cells penetrate the lymphatic and vascular channels to reach the systemic circulation but only less than 0.1% of malignant cells survive to develop metastasis. Extravasation of tumor cells. Tumor cells in the circulation mechanically block capillaries, venues, lymphatics and attach to the vascular endothelium. Here again the sequence of invading the basement membrane is repeated to expose the basement membrane. Survival and growth of metastatic deposit. Once in the right environment, extravasated malignant cells grow further under the influence of growth factors produced by the host tissue tumor cells and products developed by the clearage of the matrix. These are PDGF, FGF and TGF beta. Brings about angiogenesis. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.